Yo, yo, what's going on? What's popping? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So listen, I'm going to tell you how you can get a woman obsessed with you. How you get a girl to really, really be feeling you, right? So what's going on, everybody? Triple W dot the man mindset.com is your boy. You know what, guys? What I want to talk to you guys today about is attraction. And the thing for a lot of you guys is that you think you get a pass straight to attraction. You need it. That's not in order to do that, you have to make sure you get to the The following is rated TV M A L S V. It contains strong language. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Welcome to the Dating Advice Hour with your hosts, Mr. Locario and Steve the Dean Williams. This show will teach you how to keep conversations going, how to be more attractive, more confident, more masculine, how to be better at knowing what to say to a woman and have a more satisfied dating and sex life. Mr. Locario is the bad boy of the dating game. Badboymembership.com is where you can go to step up your game as Mr. Locario provides you with detailed step-by-step dating advice, audio video tutorials every month. Steve Dean Williams has been teaching men about dating, sex, and manhood for over 25 years. From building yourself to having the perfect marriage, his website is www.themanmindset.com. The call-in number is 515-605-9373. That's 515-605-9373. Take it away, guys. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Lucario, the bad boy of the day game, man? What up? What up? What's going on? Oh, man, we got a good show, man. Uh, why don't you give me your information real quick, brother? Yeah, so uh, guys, remember, make sure you uh, check me out at badboymembership.com. That is the site where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you check me out. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah, man. So yeah, that's that's what it is. Just okay. Check me out at badboymembership.com. Make it happen. All right, no doubt. And also, guys, y'all go to www.demandmindset.com. Guys, we are in the last week of the birthday package where you get uh, discounts on all products. And then we're going to be moving into the Halloween game, getting y'all prepared to pick up women on the week of Halloween. So make sure y'all check that out. And don't forget to check us out uh, also today at 2 o'clock. Uh, what is it? Fuck. Uh, three o'clock east, where Rosebuds will come in, and then we got a show at seven east. So I got a full plate with me this week uh, today. But anyway, uh, if y'all want to call in, the number is five one five six zero five nine three seven three. That's five one five six zero five nine three seven three. Come on in. But Lakari, I was reading your Facebook page. Uh, <laughs> when are they gonna learn, man? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's so. It's. It's it's crazy, man. Something something's up in the air with these dudes, man. I gotta. I guess. Wait, hold. Let me see if I can find. Do you yeah. you have the 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 thing I wrote. Hold. On, let me see if I can find it. I I, I commented. I commented, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna find it. Hold. On, I'm gonna try to find it right now, so I can um, so I can read what I said on that shit. Hold on. Cause um, yeah, cause it, it's it's crazy. Cause basically, and where's this shit at? Hold on. Let me see if I can find this shit real quick. Why can I not find this right now? Damn it. But basically, I'll just give the gist of it. Basically, what I was saying on the post was, was that, um, you know, I had this dude I was talking to and he we were having a conversation. He was saying that, you know, he feels like in order to get women, you need, you know, a lot of money, a lot of cars. But then what happened was, as we got to the conversation, I realized that I had like 10 times more women than him. And I've never I've never had a car. Ever. I don't even know how to drive. You feel what I'm saying? And on top of that, like, you know, most of my life, I hardly had any money. So, right. you know, a lot of dudes, they think they need these things. And this is why I be trying to tell dudes and I, 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 I freaking, you know, uh, hammer this point all the way where it's like guys think, oh, it's all about money. As soon as I get my money, up, I'm going to get the girl. Or I got to get a fancy car. I got to get just jewelry, whatever it is. And I'm like, you don't need any of that. 
You see what I'm saying? I'm like, all you need to understand is how to be attractive to women. And this is what we teach you guys. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, because like I said, I never had uh, money and I I used to ride two buses. Hell, I even worked a, kid, a knockoff of Chuck E. Cheese. Mm hmm. Four dollars and thirty five cents with a raise an hour back then. So, uh, and I was pulling all kind of bitches. So, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, right. fortunately for a lot of guys, they, that's like you and I going up to a surgeon trying to tell him how to operate. I mean, right, right. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense where you don't know women, but you assume through your thought process. And the problem is, Miss Lucario, is their thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying not to think, but it, it, I always say if you're a beta and you ask yourself any type of alpha or woman question, you, what kind of answer you gonna get? You're gonna get mm -hmm. the level that you are on. Right, right, exactly. So that's just what it is. But we got emails to read. And if y'all mm -hmm. want to call in, y'all can. But Miss Lucario, who wants to go first? You I sir. All right, you go first. You go first. I'll go after you. First, all right, first one is, is that it says here, it says, my ex-girlfriend and I recently connected, reconnected, excuse me. We message each other over and over again and flirt occasionally, kind of like the time we did when we got together. Cut the story short, we agreed to try to go out again. We're, uh, we're going out for a week now, and I'm pretty excited to meet her again, but really nervous, too. I don't understand why I feel this way. We've been together before, and I don't know why I feel this way. Still feels like the first time, LOL. Everything seems to be foreign to me again. Do you have any tips about going on dates with ex-girlfriends? So, so he's asking, uh, like, what was the question? I don't even know what the question is, though. <laughs> what is he saying? Okay, he reconnected with his ex-girlfriend. Mm. They're going now. And he's really nervous because he feels like it's the first time again. Right. What kind of tips could we give him to help him uh, on his date with his ex-girlfriend? Man, dude, just look, look, listen, man. You, you don't, the reason, the only reason why he's nervous is because you know he's scared that he's gonna fuck shit up again. You know what I'm saying? That's usually what it is. But you know, just like anything, just like any other situation, you would be with, with you know your girl just make sure you maintain the situation that's really all it's about like you know the thing is is that you know if you're if you're always nervous or thinking about um you know or you're second guessing yourself you understand what i'm saying and also i want to know like i want to know how long they've been together before they broke up you feel what i'm saying i want to know why they broke up it's, it's all these different things that matter you feel what i'm saying but just in general, um, you know, he just just need to keep it cool and keep it calm and keep it chill and just relax. You understand what I'm saying? I think what, what happens is, is that since they broke up and now they're getting back together, he's putting the situation on such a high pedestal that he's making it a bigger deal than it needs to be. You feel what I'm saying? And so, you know, and, and again, this is and this is why I was I would be interested to know why they broke up or what was the situation or you know what was specifically going on because then that could um that that could be a reason as to why he's so nervous or whatever it is but but just in general he just need to chill and relax and, and that'll be it you know what i'm saying well to me um uh she's an ex for a reason mm -hmm. that turned her off make her want to break it up or end the relationship with him mm -hmm. the fact that he said it even in there. He sometimes answers the question, I feel, because he said it. I'm nervous. What man do you know gets nervous like that, especially with someone he's already been with? Mm -hmm. What I really think happened, and this might hurt uh, some guys out there, but I think that the reason she came back to him was after she got done fucking the bad boy, the asshole. <laughs> she tried to do was she tried she thought see the thing a lot of women think and this is where they go wrong Mr. Lucario they think we you and I or guys like us you and I are like them so mm. she thinks that when she meets her, let me use you as an example because I love using examples sir when she <laughs> Lucario from breaking up with this guy or best meet or Miss Lucario during the relationship with this guy she 
assumes that you are weak, you have no spine, you have no balls, so she can use her, she can use her uh, feminine wiles to hook you in. Mm -hmm. Realize that you weren't down for that shit. I think she went back to him because she knew that he would take her back. But that, I think that's what happened. But oh, but on the other end, the, the problem I see here is that he is going to lose her again because you got to know you. You got to see women want assertive. Women want men who know what they're doing. And if you're nervous with someone you've already been with, then in her eyes, she's going to see you as a loser. Got on that. Man. Right now, nah, and that, that's that's some real shit though, because like, again, like a, a, a lot of times, and this is unfortunate because, I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but it's also good because then it gets guys to learn. Is that women, women, see, women resp like, okay, for example, you know, like guys learn a lot of pickup artist type of stuff, or even if you're, you know, learning just like, you know, how to attract women or whatever it is, right? Women are responding to you knowing what you're doing they don't necessarily know that you probably you probably learned how to do that or you were taught how to do it they just think oh this you know i met this guy or i'm with this guy and, and i feel good i feel good around this masculine dude you understand what i'm saying so the thing is you know if a guy's all nervous and he doesn't know what to do and all this other stuff you know you're gonna you're gonna end up probably losing the chick because you don't know that thing it's not like you could tell this girl like hey you know what i'm sorry uh, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. Could you give me like, you know, a, a few weeks to, to figure some shit out? And like, she don't give a fuck. She just knows what she's feeling at the moment. And she sees that you're the type of guy that is not being that type of dude that she's interested in or attracted to. And then she may end up bouncing. So this guy already, since again, he's making it such a big deal. is going to, he's, you know what I'm saying? He may end up losing out on this chick, you know, the second time. You see what I'm saying? So I, I definitely see what you're saying with that. You know what I mean? I think, I think lost already i mean just by <laughs> uh, again there was a reason why she left him mm -hmm. and there's a reason why she came back right but he again why are you nervous about mm -hmm. someone who probably left you and cheated on you fucked a bunch of guys and came back why are you that's what that, that's what's funny a lot of women do that shit a lot of women will go out break up fuck a bunch of guys and then they pussy look like chewed up meat and they come crawling back with a sob story of, you know, I just needed to find myself and, you know, I just wasn't uh, happy with this. And I, you know, I'm just a woman. You got to understand, please take me back. And they're like, okay, I'll take you back. Nah, fuck that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hilarious. Crazy. All right. So let me, uh, let me look up this, this email real quick. Hold on. All right. All right. So this one says, um, it says, how's it going? Um, I have an issue. I've been talking to this same girl for a while and she keeps flirting with me. Then she will stop flat out and flat out ignore me. Then she will flirt with me again and say all this stuff like getting married. Then she ignores me again. Like she doesn't care. My question is, how do I actually, how do I make her actually want me for real and stop playing games with me? <laughs> what's, your, what's your thoughts on that, man? Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, Miss LaCarpe, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me get this straight. She flirts with him, showing him that she wants to get with him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do anything, then she goes away. Right. She with him, trying to show her that she wants to get with him, and he does nothing, and she goes away. Right. The question you're asking is, how do I get her to do what again? He said, how do I get her to, to actually want me for real and stop playing games? You know, sometimes, you know, I always say this, and this just goes perfectly. Sometimes some people are so far in the forest, big dog, mm -hmm. they can't even see the trees that are in front of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this woman is showing you that, and this is what women do, and this is, I don't know, some of this odd behavior, but but they'll put, they'll show a guy that they're really interested in. Mm. And these guys, again, when, when you are what I call world is flat thinking, you can't read the lines. Mm. You, see, and they, they do, they, they, you know, they portray it in society and movies. You know, the woman's all flirty with the guy. He doesn't even notice the woman trying to matter of fact, I saw a commercial a bitch in college. 
fixing her room up, fixing her hair up, had a boy over her her dorm, them by themselves, and them bitches are sitting on the bed studying. <laughs> These guys cannot read between the lines when a woman is really interested in them because they're because in their eyes they never think that they're good enough to have a woman interested in them. So the problem is is that she's trying everything she can but saying, you know, I like you. Because I think if she did that, she would lose respect for him. And I think that's the problem with these guys, Miss Lucario. They don't see what's happening. So the problem is, is what can I do to get her to, 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 to like me? Is, is what are you going to do to open your eyes and realize she's throwing the pussy on you, putting it on a platter, saying, take it, and you ain't doing nothing with it, Miss mm-hmm. Lucario? Right, real talk, real talk, and that's 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 the funny part about it. It's like I'm like, yo, the, the 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 girl is showing you interest. So at that point, when she's showing the interest, why is he not doing anything? You see what I'm saying? Because he's saying, you know, when is she gonna actually want me for real and stop playing games? And I'm like, he seemed like the one that's playing games if you look at it objectively, because she's the one showing interest, but he's not doing nothing about it because he's saying, oh, she's doing this, and then she stops. She's doing this, and she stops. It's like, so what are you doing when she's doing the thing of showing you that interest? What are you doing to take charge to actually get the situation from point A to point B? You understand? Because what guys don't understand is that when a girl is showing you interest and you don't do anything, she sometimes takes that as a rejection. She takes it as, oh, well, I guess maybe he's not into me. You see what I'm saying? But she may still keep coming back because if she still likes you, she's going to try, you know, try it again or whatever it is. But at a certain point, She's going to stop doing it because she's going to feel, well, I guess this guy's uninterested. So if you're not doing anything and, and taking, uh, you know, control of that situation to make something happen, then, you know, it's going to, you know, be messed up. And then you're not going to make anything go down. You see what I mean? So the thing is, you have to make sure that when the, the, the situation arises, that you actually do something, make it happen at that moment. Because, you, you know, none of this would have been happening all this back and forth if he would have just took charge in the first place and then made the, the situation go in a certain direction. You see what I mean? So that that's what it is. You know, it's, it's one thing, Miss Lucario, if he puts her bid in and then you're like, okay, what are we going to do? What's up? You know what I mean? All right. I recognize that you trying to get at me. What's up? What you trying to do? And then all of a sudden, Miss Lucario, she starts playing them. Then she starts going away. Then what I call then start to play games. Mm-hmm. that's a different scenario right when you say look man leave me the fuck alone you know you're on that silly shit that's when you're playing games mm-hmm. but in this scenario mr lucario he's trying to show him she's interested in him but because of his level of where he's at he can't read the signs mm-hmm. all she's doing is doing it over and over and over again but yet, it's, what's odd is in that email, Mr. Carr, and I want to get your thought on this. He, where's the email of, okay, when she's flirt with me, I did this. Mm-hmm. Said that This is what I did. Nothing whatsoever. I, I, I didn't read that in there. Maybe you, I don't know. That's why I'm about to ask you. But mm-hmm. I didn't see anything of what he did when she flirted, which told me he did nothing, which told right. me, he, again, with a lot of guys scared. See, see uh, real quick, Ms. Carr. See, here's the thing. A lot of guys think that the fear of failure is the worst fear that they have. Mm. Sometimes the sun, the moon, and stars all line up, and that chick you always want to fuck is going to give you play. Mm. The worst fear that these guys have is the fear of success. I think when she was flirting with him, he was so thrown off he was he was scared because I don't know what to do. I've never been in this situation. Mm. What do I say? How do I handle this? So I think the more the problem is not the woman, it's more like him. But what's your, what's your take on that, man? Right. No, I, I agree because it, it's funny because in the email he said, he said, you know, the, the chick flirted with him and stopped and ignored him. Then she said she he flirted with me again. And then he said she would say all this stuff about marriage or whatever. And then she ignored. And I'm like, so you, you basically told me she's flirting with you like two or three times and it, it no, nowhere in the situation where he said he did anything. So that's the thing. And that's that's the problem with a lot of guys is that 
guys aren't taking action. Like I, I always, you know, say you got to strike when the pussy's hot. You feel what I'm saying? So when a girl is showing you, because dudes always say, oh, I'm going to wait for a girl to choose me. Right. So this girl is choosing. So what's going on right now then? Why are you not? Why are you not making that move? And like you said, some of these guys there, they, they, they have this thing where, you know, they they've been dealing with failure so much with women that when a girl is actually showing interest, they can't even believe it. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like he needed he it's like almost like he needed even more confirmation yes. that uh, she was into him. But yeah. see what was throwing him off was was her showing interest and then not showing interest and then showing interest again. But what he didn't realize is the part of her not showing uh, one because he wasn't really uh, taking charge at the moment, and two because he's also dealing with a woman. And what guys don't understand when he's dealing with women is that women are very wishy washy a lot of times because of the way that they they go all based off of their feelings at the moment. You see what I'm saying? And based off of how you deal with a woman, a woman's feelings for you get stronger as you progress in the situation or the relationship you're dealing with her. You see what I'm saying? So at this moment, her feelings are just sort of back and forth because y'all haven't even done anything yet because you haven't took in the the, 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 the situation to that next level. You see what I mean? And so this is why you're, you're, the guy's confused and he's not really understanding what's going on because he's not doing his part in the situation to move forward and make something happen. You see what I mean? There's to me, there's no part, and that's what I'm saying. And it, it's sad that, and this happens a lot. Women, they, these guys don't understand. Some women, there's something quirky about them, something we don't know. I don't know what it is about them. She mm -hmm. likes them. Mm -hmm. with them. She's trying to show him that you know I'm interested. You know, some women will, will, will instead of saying you know because it's not porn because she ain't just gonna walk up and say let me suck your dick type shit. Right. You know what you know, I, I like you. I'm showing you interest. I'm trying to pull this out of you say look look I, i'm here see me I'm trying mm. to get at you oh you're frustrating i'm leaving let me try it again same thing oh you're frustrating that whole thing see that that's the problem that a lot of people are having man but 515-605-9373 mm. is the number press one if you have a, have a question but uh but you got anything else on that mr lucario um nah we good we can go to the next question we all good. right now, this is this kind of a long one shit. All right. Um, there's this 25-year-old woman I've been talking to for a couple of weeks now. Last weekend, we went to a bar, and she took me home uh, the whole night. Uh, wait, uh, took me home the whole night at the bar. I don't know what that means. I'm just reading what he's saying. <laughs> kept me saying I'm not going to – wait, she kept saying I'm not going to date you. Uh, let me see. And then we ended up sleeping together that night, unfortunately. What? Anyway. <laughs> I, unfortunately, huh? <laughs> huh? Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, I really like her and I would like to date her, but she keeps sending me mixed signals like having phones. Dude, I'm just reading this. Don't, don't <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just reading this. All right. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to slow down. I'm just going to read it. I'm sorry. Just throw, I, okay. Here we go. Okay. I really like her. I like to date her, but she keeps sending me mixed signals like having phone sex with me, then ignoring me a little bit the next day. I'm not sure if it's because she's busy at work or she's just uninterested. I tried uh, doing uh, hot and cold with her, but nothing works. She's just uh, got uh, of a one year. Oh, she just got out of a one year relationship a week before and started talking before and before we started talking. She said uh, that in the future that we could end up dating, but uh, everything's going to be on hold. <laughs> she doesn't know where she's at. Anyway, let me keep scrolling on this shit. I ask her over and over again to stay tonight. She usually doesn't respond. Um, and we'll text every day. I'm starting to have feelings for her. And I would like to date her, even if it's an open relationship. I'm very, I'm very secure with myself and don't think monogamy is 100 percent necessary. So do you have any idea what should I do? I need some help. This is fucking man. <laughs> Fuck. This dude, hold on. Let me let me tell you what's going. I know exactly what's going on with this guy, man. Because this, see, what's happening really is this: is that the chick, she's she likes him, but she's just like she's chilling. She's having a good time. She's 
you know, hooking up. And, and this is what I think guys, some guys have a hard time understanding is that sometimes chicks don't, they, they just want to hook up with you at, at that moment, at that certain point. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that a girl, see, guys think that women are always looking to get into a relationship or get into something long term right now. You feel what I'm saying? Because like he just said, she she just broke up. She's probably on some. I'm just trying to chill and whatever. I'm not tr trying to do anything crazy. But he's so sprung that he's trying to force uh, a, a situation with her. You see what I'm saying? And so by by him, uh, you know, trying to force that, that's going to be the thing that's probably going to make her, you know, ignore him and drive her away from him. You understand what I'm saying? Because and this is the thing. Again, this is like what we saw about with the other email. When I was saying that women are sort of wishy-washy, guys got to understand that women, they, you know, they, you probably heard the saying where they say women are like cats. It's like, you know, they'll come to you when they're ready sometimes. But if you're trying to force the shit, you know, they're going to just run away. They're not going to want to be fucking with you. But if you just chill, they'll come back to you when they come back to you. So he needs to just chill, hook up with this girl and just keep that sh keep that shit pushing. If she wants to get with him on some date and stuff and, or they continue to keep seeing each other. That will happen organically, but he's trying to force something that isn't really there at the moment. Now, the other thing I want to talk about where he was talking about being an open relationship and I'm an open relationship and I, I take offense to when people say, because it sounds like he's trying to use the, the aspect of, of an open relationship in a needy type of way. He's like, well, I'll just... I'll just be an over. I don't care. I'll just, you know, you can go with other dudes. I just, I just want to be with you no matter what. Like that's, he's trying to come at it from a needy perspective, which is not good. You see what I'm saying? So his whole, his whole energy is coming off needy, which is going to, you most likely end up making the girl want to bounce. You see what I'm saying? Or not want to fuck with him. Cause he's already saying that she's not returning his calls as much or whatever, something like that. And that's because he's he's coming off with that needy energy. He's trying to make that happen. And it's like, yo, just chill, relax, hook up with the chick, and just, you know, let the shit uh, play out how it naturally should. You feel what I'm saying? But, Steve, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? You know, you always I, – I, I always tell guys, especially y'all guys out here right now, if, if you're 18 to 30, even beyond 30 and everything, if you're not really – you should be out here – I mean <sighs> – I mean, and I and I don't and I'm not trying to be funny here, but you guys should have at least ten women. Mm. I, I mean, I'm not. Wait, let me let me let me back that up. You should have at least three women in your city. You should have at least. But do do, but Macario, please do the math because I'm not. I, I just did just write the numbers down because I'm I'm just giving the numbers out. You should have three women in the city. Mm. You should have at least five women outside the city in different other city pockets around your area. Mm. You have at least three, two to three women in every state. I don't know about Wyoming or Dakota, so you take those out. And then you should have a few bitches outside the country. Mm. I mean, I mean, this is just this is the bare minimum you guys should have. Period. Period. Mm. Period. There's no excuse why you couldn't have that many women. Bare minimum, bare minimum, especially for a guy that doesn't know anything about women. Bare minimum. Mm -hmm. So when you when you look at this, you can see that he doesn't know what he's doing. And this, I, you know, I, I won't talk too much about sex, but it, it shows when you don't know how to fuck, make out, kiss, eat pussy, dirty talk. When you don't know any of that stuff, this is what you get right here. Because when you're doing it correctly, he is going to beat your door down wanting to spend the night with you. He's going to be calling you all the time, texting you, see what's going on with you. So you know his, his, his fuck game is terrible. But his <laughs> fuck game is still on the same level of his mindset because it all connects here. And the thing is, is that, you know, if I text somebody to come over to my place and – she is bullshitting. Mm. She falls behind. She she goes to the back of the line. Because right. I got, I got other ones to line me up. And see, what happens is you guys are doing what this guy does. You guys don't, a lot of these guys don't get women. So mm. if you get a sniff of a woman or an opportunity to get a chance with one woman when they should have more than 10, 
they put all their eggs in the basket. Mm -hmm. Put everything they have in this one woman because I, I I'd rather have half a woman than no woman at all. So we, you hear what he's saying. I'm catching feelings for her. I, I, I you know why is she doing this to me? Why is she doing that? And the reason is is because she doesn't respect him. She does not turned on by him. And again, he's just using him until she finds something better. What's your take on that, Mr. Lucario? Yes, it's, it's crazy that, and, and and my thing again is like, you know, he just needs to chill out. And that's the thing that dudes don't understand. Like you can't, a girl is not, a girl, see, the girls are gonna want to want you. That's what's gonna make them really gravitate to you. You see what I'm saying? When when it's like, when it's like she's chilling and you're the one, you know, uh, uh, chasing after her, you feel what I'm saying? That's not a good combination. You see what I mean? It should be her trying to get at you and trying to really make something happen with you. Because see, the thing is when, when a woman, when a woman likes you, right. And she's, she's feeling you and she's trying to holler at you, whatever it is. And, and, and you're like, okay, cool. I got this girl on my team or this girl I can fuck with. Um, that's a more natural progression of things. When you're chasing after the woman, the fact that you're chasing her automatically makes you unattractive. So, so she, she, so you already lost her by doing that. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that like you're saying, sometimes these chicks, they, they stick around and they'll like, you know, entertain certain things until something better comes along. Because at that point she realizes that you're not the type of man she thought you was because you, you're, you're sitting there like, you know, belly aching over her, chasing her, you know, calling her, trying to, trying to get her to sleep over when she doesn't want to, you understand what I'm saying? Like, the girl should be at your house after you hooked up trying to sleep over, not you begging her to sleep over. You know what I'm saying? If You, know, you see what I mean? So it, it, you got to see what's really going on in the situation. And so let's say if the girl is not trying to sleep over, let's say I hook up and she's like, oh, you know, it's getting late. I should go. Then be like, all right, cool. Peace out. You understand? Let her go. You understand? You have to maintain that frame of I'm cool with whatever's going on. I'm not going to be up here. Uh, you know, like like chasing after your ass or whatever. And so by doing that, she's going to be wondering, damn, like, you know, does he really like me or what's going on? And that gets her thinking. That makes her more attracted to you. That gets her chasing you at the end of the day. You see what I'm saying? But if you are up there noticing she's sort of just being lax about it or sort of just, you know, walking away and you're trying to grab onto her ankle, talk about, no, no, don't leave, stay. I want to, I want to be with you. I want to... That's not going to fly. You see what I'm saying? So you guys got to understand that. And the thing is, like Steve, you saying, if you got more women, you're not going to be, you know, wondering about this one girl or you, you see what I'm saying? A lot of these dudes, because they're in the scarcity mindset, that's why they're not getting to the point where they want to get with women. You see what I mean? So it's it's crazy out there, man. And I just want to say something real quick. It's funny. She was like, he said at the bar, she kept saying, I'm not going to date you. I'm not going to date you. Right. <laughs> Well, let, let me tell you, Steve. Hey, look, hey, hey, look. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Hey, look, check it out. Look, look. I want to let. Hey, I want to let you know this right here, right now. Mm -hmm. I want to ease your mind. I am not here to fuck up what you have. If you got a husband or a boyfriend, hey, look, look. I'm not gonna run behind you. I'm not gonna call you. I'm not gonna bug you. When you want me, pull me out of the closet like a dildo. Use me up and put me back in. <laughs> I, I respect the fact you don't want that. That's fine. Look, look, look. I'm not pushing for a relationship. That's cool. That's how it should be. That's how you should talk to him. Mm. That's how you should have the discussion. But like he said, he's catching feelings because you can always tell. And, and, and again, when we say, Lakari, if we can tell it, they can tell it. Right. You can always tell someone who never had pussy or never had women before by their behavior. Mm -hmm. she would tell you well Mr. Cario you know I, I'm not, I don't want to date I don't want you be like alright cool right, right. <laughs> like, hey baby it's good we good you mm -hmm. have to tell me twice right when you when someone doesn't get anyone kind of like your email with I mean uh, not your yeah the email with the flirting guy right like with him if he even gives or catches wind of this he's going to catch feelings well I think he's already caught feelings for it because he, he liked the chick anyway, but this is what happens when you throw all your eggs in a basket without learning about the chicken, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. And then here's the problem. 
the guys don't know about the basket and the guys don't even know about women enough to realize that, you know what, she's playing you. Matter of fact, she's just using you for fucking sex. Accept it, move the fuck on, and fuck other people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. That's what, And that's the funny part. But, but again, the reason why guys don't understand this is because they, they keep thinking that uh, every woman is looking for a boyfriend right now. So what happens is, is that if they if these guys want her, they think, well, maybe if I prove that I'm going to be a good boyfriend, maybe if I show her more interest, then she'll she'll want to be my girlfriend or whatever. And it's like, dude, they, they, they're, you know, because you, you got even guys who think that, uh, you know, they'll say, well, you got to lie to a girl and pretend you want something more than sex so that she'll have sex with you. I'm like, you don't need to do that because there's girls who actually just want to hook up with you. But only guys who don't understand women will come up with some nonsense like, oh, let me, let me lie to her and pretend I want something more so I can get sex. You understand? And so there's some girls who will just want to use you for the dick. You see what I'm saying? And so he, de- he doesn't realize he's dealing with one of those girls at this moment. Maybe later on she may want something more. But again, you got to give her that space to realize that if that's what she's going to want. And that's when she's going to start chasing you for that. And if you want to make it happen at that point, then you make it happen. But these guys, they're they're trying to force or trying to create a certain type of situation um, because they're, they're going off of this. Like they watch too many damn movies. They think, well, maybe if I try harder, maybe if I go up to her job with flowers and sing to her, or I, 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 you know, I bring out what's that movie with the dude with the radio and he's standing outside the fucking girl's apartment or, or, or house with the radio playing some bullshit. Guys be thinking that shit is real. You understand? And so they're like, well, I got to do more, try more fucking, you know, stalk this chick. And then she's going to end up wanting to, 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 to be my girl. And it's like, dude, like you, you, you're not, it's not, it doesn't work like that in real life. You feel what I'm saying? So it's crazy. In the real world, when the motherfucker held up the radio and old girl poked her head out the window, mm-hmm. the motherfucker who's fucking her, he poked his head out the window be like, hey man, can you turn the stage into uh, the rap? Exactly, <laughs> right, for real. That's how it should have been in the real world because this is what happened. See, y'all guy, a lot of guys think you need to romance these women. Mm-hmm. Romance is something that is earned mm-hmm. from a woman. You don't just give romance, you just don't give respect, you just don't give your hard earned money to buy her a fucking drink or take her out to eat. That's y'all's problem. Y'all have been ingrained and lied to. All your lives, handed down information, mm-hmm. all this bullshit y'all listen to on YouTube, shit you watch on TV, and you even listen to fucking women, which I don't even understand how you do that shit. But you do all that shit to combinate to you thinking that, okay, I need to be more sweet and more romantic. and It just doesn't work, man. But you got the floor, Mr. Cario. Mm-hmm. Real talk. All right, let me get to this next, next question. All right, so this one says... Says, hey, uh, Ms. Lucar, I'm 20 and have been dating this girl for two months. She caught me texting another chick on Instagram and I regretted it instantly. Um, I took full responsibility and asked for another try. And she said, okay, and that she just wanted to be in my arms and have a fresh start without a break. After that, we we have been texting, but she won't respond to, uh, to my text or Snapchats. So I give her the space so she'll miss me and she will FaceTime me for about 10 minutes at night and then leave. Uh, What should I do to get it back to the point that it once was uh, for her to trust me again and be all into me? Guys, what's what's your thoughts on that? I, I, I don't ever understand why anybody that age would do a great disservice to himself and be with just one woman. I know, that's what I'm saying. I, <laughs> I, I just, I'm, I'm trying, listen, I look, see, it, on, on the other side of the street here, I don't consider, at, at that age, I never had a girlfriend. I had what was known as a number two or number one. Mm-hmm. Never a girlfriend. That means if I wanted to spend time with somebody, if I wanted to go to a movie and I wanted some company, if I wanted to hang out with somebody, I'm calling my number one. Mm. Not a girlfriend, a number one. Uh, 
and and six three one. Oh, okay, six three one dropped off. Okay, but I, uh, but the thing is this: Why do you fucking young kids want girlfriends when you can fuck these women everywhere? Why do you want to settle down, Miss Lucario? The problem is two months. Man, you ain't, man, look, man, you need to go ahead and give her walking papers, charge that shit, and start finding other. You need to go back and talk to the chick he got caught with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you know what? At that age, you, I'm not looking for a relationship. Matter of fact, I, I, hey, even at this age, I would say the same thing. I'm not looking for a relationship. I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want to, I don't want any of that stuff. I'm look. I'm just trying to chill and find someone with some common interest. That's it, mm -hmm. and you know, and that's an honest truth. Now, if it turns into a relationship, that's different. But I'm not gonna lie to her and sit here and say, "Well, you know, hey, look, I I want a girlfriend." But this is what this this guy did. Twenty, you're twenty years, Lucario. You know, and we hey, real quick. I get you. All us old heads look at kids today and just say to ourselves. I wish there was some type of flux capacitor mm. <laughs> to be able to let us be either in high school or college right now in this day and age with women giving pussy away like it's Halloween candy. Just, mm. just let me let me be that motherfucker, 20-year-old motherfucker. Right. In, in prime of his life in a in a in a Serengeti in a world where you have access to every woman around the world and women are throwing the pussy away. Do mm. you think I'm going to have a fuck? What the, I couldn't even spell girlfriend. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> 20, Ms. Lucario? Nah, it's, it's funny because like I'm reading this and I'm like, he says he's 20 and they've only, they, he said they've been together for two months. And, and, and the funny part is I'll be telling guys like if you go, even if you're going to have a girlfriend, how do you make a chick your girlfriend and it's only I've been like it's been two months? Like that's so you know what I mean? Like that's so quick. So you you met this chick and y'all been just together for two months and now this is a girl is your girl. Then on top of that, what he said was she caught him talking to someone, and I'm like, first of all, like you were saying, she shouldn't he shouldn't have had it where it's like this monogamous committed relationship. It should have been like, hey, listen, we kicking it, and I'm gonna be kicking it with other girls. You see what I'm saying? And now at this point, he's saying that he said that uh, they've been texting, but then she stopped responding after a while. And he's saying that, well, she's not responding because she doesn't trust me anymore. And see, now he's got himself in a situation where instead of having fun, hooking up with girls, you know, doing his thing, he's like in a, in a, like, he, he sounds like a guy who's in his forties in a, in a bad marriage right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, or some weird shit. I'm like, dude, why are you worrying about this girl not texting you back? And on top of that, if this is your girl, why is she not texting you back? And 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 why are you staying with a girl in a relationship who's not texting you back? You see what I'm saying? So wh why are you even involving yourself in this nonsense? My thing for him is he need to let this girl know, like, if he likes her and wants to still kick it with her, like, listen, I like you and all that, but th something's going to change around here. What's going to change is... I'm going to be doing my thing. You feel what I'm saying? You can still roll with me, but I'm going to do my thing. So don't worry about who I'm texting, who I'm hitting up on Snapchat. And if you want to roll, if you want to roll, you roll. If not, that's not, we don't got to do all that. You feel what I'm saying? But again, a lot of these dudes, like I was saying before, they've been watching all these movies and all this other crazy stuff. And, you know, they, 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 they've been indoctrinated and conditioned with all this romance and, oh, I got to you know, uh, do this for the girl. It's like, no, this is, and this is the type of shit you get into. You at 20 years old, even worrying about this type of nonsense is, is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I think, uh, before any young man even thinks about a relationship or mm -hmm. even thinks about really being serious with a woman or even thinks about marriage with a woman, nine, five, two, we bring it in one second. I think they need to have an orgy threesomes <laughs> have a have a husband film him fucking his wife right <laughs> i mean just live fuck a bunch of women you know do crazy shit like i used to i used to go to dinner 
I used to call one bitch from the north side, one from the south side, and have them both come and join me. Right. I mean, just have fun with your life. Don't right now, you guys are too young to settle down with a woman and make her your girlfriend. Mm. Look, you can make her your number two, make her your number three. Don't put that title girlfriend on that shit. Just mm. make her a chick that you know what? When, when I when I want to fuck, I look for you. But let me go ahead and grab this call real quick and then we'll continue uh, real quick. Uh, right. five two did uh wait shit. Uh damn it, can I bring this mug in? Hold on a second. Uh nine five two, did you have a question, sir? Hey Dean, this nine five two for two weeks ago, man. You gave me the products for free on your birthday, dog, man. Shit has been crazy, bro. Crazy. I've been too busy to call into the show the past couple of weeks. It's been going crazy. I just want to say thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. Everything is good over here, man. It is amazing. I just want to show love and appreciation, man, and say thank you for okay. what you're doing, man, because you changed the world for me, man. All right, well, thank you, you man. You changed the world. All right, well, yeah, we, we, well, we'll throw you back in. Yeah, we got to continue with the show. But, yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate the love, 952. It's call back later on tonight at, at 7 o'clock. We'll chop it up more. But we're just trying to answer questions right now. Okay, man? Oh, that's all right. I just had to show the love, man. That's all, right. all good. All right, respect, man. Respect. We'll throw you in respect. Much love to you. But anyway, guys, 515-605-9373 is the numbers. Is it my turn, Mr. Carl? It's my turn, right? Yeah, yes, yes, sir. It's my turn. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and read this one. Uh, guys, y'all want to call in? 515-605-9373 is the number. Uh, this girl went and I went out on a date last Monday. We both seemed to agree that it went very well. Fuck, man. However, that night, I texted her the following. Hey, her name. Thanks so much for an awesome time today. She didn't respond. So I'm wondering, should I text her again? If so, when? And what should I text her? Uh, <laughs> nah, you don't. You don't need to text her again, bro. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to text her again. It's 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 a wrap, my dude. It's over. I'm sorry. Pack it up. Move on to the next chick. It's a wrap. It's it charges to the game. See, look, look, look. When when you go out with a chick and you and you you hit her up or you text her some shit after the date or whatever, or let's say even if you hook up with a chick, and you text her, um. You know, and she doesn't respond. That's basically showing no interest. You see what I'm saying? Because if you went on a date and you're doing everything right and she's feeling you and everything is, you know, uh, like 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 gelling and working out, she's thinking about you. She's you know wondering about you. She's she can't wait to see you again. You feel what I'm saying? So when you text her and she doesn't respond, that means she's just ain't really interested. You see what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's real simple. So I, you know, I, I think a lot of guys, what they'll do is, is that they'll try to rationalize a lot of different things and say, oh, well, maybe she's busy. Maybe this, maybe that, you know, now it's one thing if you text a girl and, you know, 15 minutes passed by and she didn't text, that's one thing. But if you texted her and a whole day passed and she hasn't gotten back to you, that's not a good sign. You feel what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it is what it is. But Steve, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? I don't ever, ever, ever talk to a woman and agree that everything went well. Mm. Because I know when you get with me, we're having a great time. Mm. Get with me, it's going to be the time of your life. You get with me, you get the opportunity of my time. Then I promise you, when you get that, when you cash in that Willy Wonka Golden Ticket and get into my motherfucking amusement park, you're gonna have the best time you ever had. So I don't have to agree on shit because I know I embody all those things. I know I'm fun, but as soon as he had to agree that it went well, he had lost her right then because he is looking and seeking her approval to see if everything went well right that's number one number two when you think boring thoughts you walk out your door a boring man when you meet a woman you're boring and she gives you an opportunity a chance to take her out and spend your money on her buying her dinners buying her drinks buying her meals and all that other shit to prove to her that you're not boring, but she realizes that you are boring. 
And then what even makes it worse is you're saying thanks so much for an awesome time. What was so awesome about it? Because if it was awesome, she would be telling you we're ha- well, you're having a great time. You you know but one thing I'm throwing to you, Miss Carl. You know what I always notice that's funny that a lot of you guys don't re- understand is when you are a great time and you take a woman out, the first thing she's going to do, fellas, and get your crayons out on this, first thing she's going to do after she realizes she's having a great time, she's going to say, Miss Lucario, the bad boy of the bad boy membership. <laughs> you know what? I see why all the girls like you, mm-hmm. I see why all the women want to get in touch with you. I just want to know why isn't it that you don't have a woman? You're an amazing guy. Oh my God, you've given me the time of my life. What what is it? What do I need to do, the woman? I need to do to please you. And that's the problem, Mr. Lucario. Let you got the floor. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. You got the floor. <laughs> nah, you know, it, it, it's it, it, again like see, excuse what you're talking about, too, is like that value. And I, I did a video about this other day where it's like, you know, a lot of dudes don't understand the value. And so therefore the women don't see it. And, and, but also too, what, what guys don't understand is how much women are yearning and thirsty to be with a guy who's an attractive man, a real man, a masculine dude, a guy who they really want to, you know, they, they're thinking about it and, and they're, you know, they can't wait to see again. Like, they want all of that stuff. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, because he's asking why, you know, she hasn't returned the call. Should he, should he text her again and all this other stuff? And the thing is, you guys don't have to try that hard to get a woman to hit you up or whatever. The thing is, if she's feeling that, she's going to hit you up. She's going to holler at you. You see what I'm saying? And if she isn't, then she's not interested. And sometimes she's not interested because you may have been on the date doing certain things that, you know, created a situation where she was like, maybe at first she was feeling you. And then later on, it was like, oh, I don't really know. You feel what I'm saying? And so that could also happen too. You see what I mean? This is why the game is so important because you want to make sure that, because if you go through the trouble of, you know, let's say you, you meet a girl at a bar, you get a number and then you try to, you go on a date with her, or let's say you talking to some girl online and you get her to come out to meet you on a date. You don't, you don't want to go through all that trouble, then get to the date. And then the date is kind of like, you know, it's just kind of whack. And then you want to end up seeing her again and she's not returning your calls or hitting you up or whatever it is like that. So you want to make sure that you know what you're doing when you get to that point first so that you don't waste your time, you know, uh, keep doing this over and over again and getting those same, you know, whack type of results when it comes to dealing with the chicks. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, real quick. I just want to say sometimes, guys, we got uh, seven minutes left in the show. But uh, what I want to say real quick is this, is that sometimes, Ms. Lucario, you got to get rid of the bitch. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you have such a great time, she wants to have more of your time. She mm-hmm. wants to call you all the time. She mm-hmm. wants to go out all the time. She wants to she wants to have the experience all the time. And that's when you have to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I'm being too much of a good time. Right, Maybe right. <laughs> order that shit down a little bit. Because this motherfucker over here thinking that she got a shot at the title. Mm-hmm. Got a shot at my last name. And bitch, we just met. So fuck that. I need to I need to calm myself down because I'm giving her the impression that she's got a shot. And I don't think a lot of guys realize that's the power of a man. Mm-hmm. Not that presence. But anyway, Mr. Cario, you got the floor for the last email, sir. All right, cool. So this one's a short one. It this almost reminds me of the first email, but it says, um, I have this girl at my school who keeps flirting with me, but I don't know what to do. She keeps complimenting me on my clothes and telling me how handsome I look. What should I do? How do I get her to go out with me? <laughs> well, uh, well, well, first off, let's 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 throw out to go out with you. you, 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 you that's not going to happen. That's not <laughs> happen. What I need you to do is this. What I need you to do is I need you to go to the go to the furniture store and buy the most expensive couch you can the one that's really soft that has the fibers in it lucario that when you're sitting it you just feel oh so comfortable Mm -hmm. and what i need you to do is go to the gym and do a bunch of exercises to build up your shoulder muscle 
preferably your left shoulder. Just keep pumping and pumping and pumping and build your shoulder up. Because what you need to be is that sucker friend of hers that when Miss Lucario busts her ass open or she wants to bitch about Miss Lucario, she comes over your house and cries on your goddamn shoulder on your fucking couch because that's all you're going to get. Because you guys don't understand that if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, that is going to be your end result. That or not getting her at all. Miss Lucario? Right. And that's the thing. Like, I'm like, okay, you're saying she's flirting with you. She's complimenting you. And then your question is, how do I get her to go out with me? That's like, it's just so, is this so weird that that would be the question? This, this is a lot of guys out here nowadays is that, you know, it's one thing where in general, you're like, hey, how do I get girls? How do I talk to them? Whatever. But when you got a girl throwing it at you, showing you that she's interested and you're still asking, how do I make it happen? That means you got to, you, you got to, you got to step up your game heavy. Like you're not even in the, in the situation, you're not even in the game at this point because you're not realizing what you're supposed to do. Cause when it's, when it's laid out for you on a platter, you still don't even know what to do. That's, that's crazy. So even if you were to, even if I were to tell you, uh, what to do as far as, okay, do this, this, and this, and then set up a date and go out with her. When you go out with her, you probably not going to know what to do when you go out with her. You feel what I'm saying? And then you're going to make mess that up. You feel what I mean? And so let's say I tell you, okay, hey, go out with her. And then when you're on the date, do this, this, and this, and then you do all of that. And then you're going to mess up the next step of you trying to hook up or whatever it is. So the thing is a lot of times I think guys need to really understand and, and take this game seriously so that they'll know what to do when these situations arise. Because when the situation arises where it's already being handed to you and you still don't know, that's a problem. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's not, that's crazy. Like this, this should not even at this point in the game, this should not even be the issue. You see what I'm saying? But unfortunately for some guys it is. And this is why guys need to really take heed to the game and understand what they need to do. You see what I'm saying? Car, you're you're a thousand percent right, fam. And this is why we always try to tell you guys that uh you can't go around trying to figure this stuff out yourself because all you're gonna do is either frustrate yourself or lose. Mm -hmm. Uh for me, I can't speak for Mr. Cario, but for me, mm -hmm. I had to find a mentor, Mr. Cario. Right. Real talk. Kissing girls, mm -hmm. wishes with them. I was doing, I was doing shit. But that's like a Jedi without, that's like Luke Skywalker without uh, Obi-Wan's help. You know what I mean? I was I was doing shit, but I still didn't know shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't, but I was getting girls, but I didn't know shit. Mm -hmm. But when I got my mentor, Miss Lucario, it was at that point I started, it was like the fucking, every time I see the Matrix, it, when, I, when I saw the lines coming down, mm -hmm. I, I started to see the world in a different perspective. I needed more. Uh, give me more. Th give me more information. Give me more. Teach me. Teach me. Until mm -hmm. the point where I woke up and I said, I, I know Kung Fu. Right, right. <laughs> nah, real talk. Real talk. That's what it is, man. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, Mr. Carr. Why don't you go ahead and give me your information before we go and roll, man? Yeah, man. So, guys, make sure uh, you go to MissLocario.com to get this book. How to get the hard copy, ebook, or audio book. Make sure you go to MissLocario.com to get this. Also, make sure you go to BadBoyMembership.com to join the Bad Boy membership where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. And also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at, at RealMrLocario on Instagram. All right. Guys, uh, real quick for you guys out there. Hey, uh, we got a show uh, at two o'clock east with motherfucking Rosebud. And uh, but also remember, guys, uh, the birthday package of all discounts are going to end this weekend because we got to start preparing you guys for Halloween and pulling bitches on Halloween weekend. So uh, we're going to start working on that uh, at the end of this week. So go ahead and jump in there. Go ahead and click on my little cake ass baby picture. That's where you get all the discounts at. Follow the instructions. If you have any questions, send me an email at themanmindset.com. But anyway, Miss Lucario, I want to say thank you. Much love. I appreciate all that you are and all that you're going to be. 
for for these guys out there. We need more men like you, and it's it's an honor to to, to call you family, man. So, uh, up, bro, appreciate it, appreciate it all, man. 